Team Rajnath for 2014 polls has been announced. The BJP were coming up with this list of the main contenders, the main players as far as 2014 is concerned rather. Narendra Modi has been included in the BJP parliamentary board. You talk about Rajiv Pratap, Rudi, Varun Gandhi. They've been included as the new general secretaries of the party. Uma Bharati, another contentious name, has been made the new BJP vice president. So certainly a big elevation for her as well, despite opposition uh, from Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan. Now, Narendra Modi's Lieutenant Amit Shah has also been elevated as the BJP General Secretary, a move that was likely to happen since Modi had been backing, uh, in fact, uh, this elevation, Amit Shah's elevation to go through. So big developments happening at the BJP uh, as far as getting this list in order is concerned as well. Let's in fact listen into reactions coming forth. Arun Modwadi are reacting. Parliamentary board me lena, wo BJP ka kaam hai. Lekin aaj ke din me BJP me 15, 20 ke kareeb parliamentary board member honge. Uske baare me koi charcha nahi hui. Abhi tak kyu appointment ki gayi? Sushma Swaraj, leader of opposition hai. Rajnath Singh, president. Well, Ratish Shivastana joins us with an input of social editor tracking developments since uh, uh, early morning today. Atish, this was expected. Narendra Modi, Amit Shah perhaps as well, but a vice presidency for Uma Bharti also, uh, you know, despite the opposition from the Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister, key changes being brought in in the BJP fold as far as Mission 2014 is concerned. Well, as far as Mission 2014 is concerned, Aditya, the biggest name is Narendra Modi. He is now officially the member of the topmost decision-making body of the BJP, that's Parliamentary Board. And now his his people, like Amit Shah, is very much member of the BJP General Secretary List. So he, it's clear that they will have a larger and a more important role for Narendra Modi. Party has decided that Narendra Modi has to be given a larger role. He will now be responsible for the key decision-making of the BJP, be it seat selection, be it deciding the campaign committee, hmm. be it taking a decision against who should be the chief of a particular state, who should be the prime ministerial candidate for Lok Sabha. All these things will now Narendra Modi be part of. He will be the part of parliamentary board. And apart from that, you have Varun Gandhi, the young leader of Uttar Pradesh. So it's clear they want youth to come forward and focus is clearly on Uttar Pradesh and Hardland Hindutva as well because you have Uma Bharti there, you have Amit Shah, these faces are there. In fact, we also have Dharmen Pradhan. There were confusions about Dharmen Pradhan being included. He is now General Secretary of the party yet again. Even Rajiv Pratap Rudi has been given this opportunity of being General Secretary. So there is focus on the specific states like Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh. All these states have been given importance, realizing it very well that if BJP has to propel into power, these states are something which are going to be very, very important. So UP, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Bihar have been given lots of importance. But point is that this team consists of the agenda to be taken forward and that is the Hindutva because you clearly see that you have Narendra Modi at the top of the things, then you have Uma Bharti, then you have Varun Gandhi, you also have Amit Shah. So these are the faces which will take the agenda forward. If you remember in January there was a meeting and the mm. RSS clearly said that they need to take the Hindutva agenda forward and that is what has happened here. So obviously this is important. Now RSS and BJP has finalized the list. It's out that this will be the team which will be strategizing and formalizing to take on Congress in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Well, there was word about the elevation inclusion rather for the Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister also to the Parliamentary Board. What do we know about that, Atish, at this stage? Well, probably that has been left for now because they will, uh, they they have taken decision that it will be only Narendra Modi who will be elevated to this level and probably a decision about Shivraj Singh Chauhan would be taken later because there was only one post which was vacant after Bal Aptis uh, had demise. So obviously that was filled by Narendra Modi now and as far as Shivraj Singh Chauhan is concerned that would be taken later. But it's clear that Mission 2014, the team is ready for uh, uh, as far as BJP is concerned now. Well, there is a huge amount of pressure because we do... Perhaps the idea was to have a clear strategy as far as the leadership, defined leadership rules for the party with Mission 2014 in mind, which is why perhaps this move has been made, like Atish points out. Atish, what are your thoughts on, on how the decision to elevate Uma Bharti is also going to be viewed, uh, not just in the rank and file, but also in the Pradesh, especially uh, with the opposition which was expressed by uh, the, the Chief Minister of the state? Well, not only Chief Minister, in fact, many leaders of the state did not really want Uma Bharti to be nominated from the state because they really believe that now she is a simply member of Uttar Pradesh and she is focusing more on Uttar Pradesh and she should be called a leader of Uttar Pradesh instead of Madhya Pradesh. But now she's been elevated, she's been given vice president 
post in the party. She will play a very important role. And it's clear that Uma Bharti will have her focus very clear. She will be focusing on Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh together. So the agenda which BJP has spelled out is that they have to take forward in the agenda along with Narendra Modi. The combination of development and Hindutva have to be taken forward. But there can be an issue regarding Amit Shah because we've seen in past that whenever there has been any mood of, of any any movement of Amit Shah's elevation, they've been criticized because Amit Shah still have a pending case. He may be out on bill, but there is a clear case of fake encounter against him. He's, 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 he was charged uh, as far as this case is concerned. So all these things BJP counter and that is why there was a delay. Now they factored in that okay. he has been Sent, uh, Supreme Court has not come down hard on Amit Shah, so he can be member and he's very, very close to Narendra Modi. Any batting which needs to be done in favor of Narendra Modi, Amit Shah would be here to do that. All right, Atish, stay on for a moment. Let's also bring in uh, Mosiki Achara tracking developments uh, in on the story. Mosiki, you know, it was obvious the only man who had consensus about being included into the parliamentary board, be you know, elevated in terms of role and profile was Narendra Modi. But a word also about Amit Shah's elevation, that is also, you know, backing Narendra Modi's cloud in the BJP because it is only on his insistence that uh, Amit Shah has been made General Secretary. Well, absolutely. While Narendra Modi had been inducted, uh, it has been a very uh, known fact now that Rajnath Singh and Narendra Modi seem to have created a rapport since Rajnath Singh took over as the BJP this year. In fact, it was only a matter of and before Narendra Modi's name was to be announced as a part of this panel, it would not be surprising if he even became one of the most foremost campaign managers for the 2014 election mm. uh, for the BJP as well as the NDA parties here. However, the elevation of Amit Shah as the general secretary of the party means that uh, uh, he is also going to have a very, very important role in the coming elections. Amit Shah has been always the master strategist during elections for Narendra Modi in Gujarat. So if elevating Narendra Modi to a national pedestal, taking along Amit Shah with him means that Amit Shah will be assisting him. He knows Modi's style of functioning. He knows Modi's temperament. He knows what Modi likes and dislikes. And that is primarily the reason why Amit Shah too has been inducted as the General Secretary of the party. And if Narendra Modi is going to be at the helm of affairs for the 2014, Amit Shah will be playing an extremely important and mm. a pivotal role for the BJP uh, as far as elections are concerned. And, and this is Mosiki also, you know, co coming back full circle for Narendra Modi as well. We know there were strained ties six years ago with Rajnath Singh, which led to the ouster of Modi uh, from the parliamentary board. For him to be brought back, uh, recognizing the fact that it is infighting, which has become the biggest bane, you know, even with this with this new selection coming through, this was the problem which was being noted. Uh, you know, but at least Modi and Rajna Singh are on the same page. They realize that this cannot go through this way, and there has to be an understanding. They have to be cordial ties between senior leaders of the party. Yes, of course. And uh, considering that Rajna Singh is uh, uh, on con is uh, having a continuous communication with Narendra Modi on different affairs uh, within the party, uh, gradually what will uh, and out of what will work out will be that Narendra Modi will have a larger say in the affairs of the party at the national level. Hmm. Now that he has been inducted as a member of the parliamentarian board there, not only is going to play a pivotal role for the elections, it could also uh, uh, actually get the entire party together, make the entire party work together. And Narendra Modi might try to implement the model that he has uh, uh, put out here in Gujarat, not just at the government level, but also okay. within the BJP party, where he has an overall say over all the party matters. R.C. Faldu might be the BJP president here in Gujarat. However, yes. the final word is always with Narendra Modi. Mm. So in case of Narendra Modi is uh, elevated to such a huge pedestal, mm. over a period of time it will work out that Narendra Modi will have a larger say over matters, not just for the elections, but also within the party. And yes, inviting within the BJP is one of the biggest concerns for BJP, which Narendra Modi will have to gradually uh, work out on. And with Amit Shah by his side, uh, uh, maybe Amit Shah, mm. who is now not a part of the Gujarat government, pay more attention to the party affairs while he stays in Delhi. All right, Bhargi, just stay on for a moment. Sriti Rani, senior leader of the BJP, now joins us as well. Ma'am, the new team, it seems, has been uh, set, been, been put into place. Also clear indication coming from your party that Narendra Modi you know, is going to have a larger role as far as the national politics of the BJP is concerned. 
Well, at the outset, I would like to, to you uh, publicly thank uh, our national president, Rajnath Singh Ji, for giving me the opportunity to serve as the vice president of the BJP. And I think that uh, this particular announcement has uh, enthused all the workers and supporters of the BJP in order to prepare ourselves for Budget 2014. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, you think the other aspect which is playing out at this stage, I mean, I, I know this is a difficult situation as far as accepting this and putting it and saying it in as many words is concerned, but what is now holding the BJP back from announcing their prime ministerial candidate? We know that uh, the growing popularity of Narendra Modi has seen him emerge back onto the scene, uh, back onto the parliamentary board as well. I don't think it's difficult to articulate anything on its lines today. I'm of the opinion that the President Sri Rajnath Singh Ji has time and again publicly stated that as far as the uh, Prime Ministerial candidate of the BJP is concerned, that is a decision and an announcement that will be made by the parliamentary board, which is the highest decision making body of the party. So you're, you're saying as well, ma'am, that Narendra Modi will also now have a greater role in deciding exactly that the Prime Ministerial candidate of your party is going to be? I think every worker in Gujarat and all over the country is also extremely excited by the announcement that has been made today with regards to the Chief Minister of Gujarat. But insofar as the announcement for the Prime Ministerial candidate goes, that is the right and the responsibility of the Parliamentary Board of the BJP. Sure, ma'am. There was also you know, a word about Shivra Singh Chauhan, the fact that he also should be brought in to the Parliamentary Board. Your reading of that situation? I think that I would not want to indulge in speculation because these are unconfirmed reports that you are getting and the idea is not to participate and contribute to a breaking news phenomena on headlines today. All I will say is that the uh, president of the party has made appropriate announcements that he deems fit to for 2014. Well, thank you very much, ma'am, for joining us with your inputs here on Headlines today, for briefing us about what the BGP's plan and mission for 2014 is now going to be. Political editor Javed Ansari also closely watching these developments. Javed, your reading of, of these changes, of these new names being elevated and the new roles have decided by the BGP for mission 2014. This should clearly come as no surprise that Mr. Narendra Modi has been given a prominent role. This was always very much in the car, on the cards. This is a part of the, of the party trans strategy now. He, he will be first brought into the parliamentary board and from there on, had, you know, he'll play a vital role in leading the BJP's campaign and, and the party will take it from there as, uh, with regards to the others. This was also inspected uh, on expected lines. My colleague, Arthur Sirasta, has had repeatedly uh, spoken of this. In fact, he was much the first to break this story of Uma Bharti and uh, Mr. Nada and Amit Shah getting a prominent place mm. uh, in the scheme of things. And this is precisely what has happened. This is a new team and it, and it has Mr. Modi's imprint. And obviously, for all practical purposes, it will be Mr. Modi who will be leading the BJP in the 2014 elections. I'll just just build on this point. Javed making a very important point. This entire team as well has a Modi imprint on it. We know that he has greater responsibilities now, a greater role in that parliamentary board, a greater say as well as far as deciding the prime ministerial candidate is concerned. He will be one of the chief uh, poll architects, the poll strategy architects for the BJP too. So certainly this is all working towards you know, ensuring Narendra Modi has his way as far as 2014 polls are concerned. It seems like that only, Aditya, because if you remember that Narendra Modi and Rajnath Singh had met thrice one to one all alone. So they want to establish a good working relation between each other because they were, when Rajnath Singh was earlier president, there were uh, lots of talks about they don't have a proper working relationship. Narendra Modi and Rajnath Singh yeah, had differences during those days, but they have mended the differences and this list which has been now been released, the office bearer has a clear imprint of Narendra Modi in it because there were objections from Amish as well because if you fight, uh, but fight against Congress as far as corruption and tainted images are concerned, then why have someone who has a clear case against them, against him? So he may be out on bail, but there's a clear charge sheet as far as the fake encounter is concerned. So this is something which was a serious allegation of Amish and despite all those allegations and reservations, he has been elevated and made general secretary. It's clear that Narendra Modi's imprint is clearly on the list which has been now released for mission for 2014. Javed, the other aspect of course was, was the creation of a parallel you know, power block in, in, in Shivat Singh Chauhan in terms of popularity, also someone who would rival Narendra Modi perhaps you know, set for a third uh, election as well for his state. But his non-inclusion in the parliamentary board uh, has surprised many people. Also the fact that you know people like Uma Bharti have been elevated despite you know, doubts and aspersions that he had cast on her role. Well, that is, this is a bit of a dampener, a bit of a downer, because yes, if you, if, if performance is the yardstick, then Mr. Shivat Singh uh, Chauhan ranks with the very best. 
chief ministers in the country, he, he has done. Of course, he doesn't have the flair and the flamboyance, say, of an Arendra Modi or some others, but certainly by, on, by sheer dint of work, he has improved a lot of um, Madhya Pradesh. But in the, in the party scheme of things, they perhaps felt that having two powerful chief ministers in there would perhaps uh, not you know, would not be a fine balance of things. And that's why they've probably decided to keep him up mm. for the moment. And right now, the spotlight, they wanted to focus the spotlight squarely on us in Bodhi, and that's precisely what they've done. And across in Gujarat as well, Mosik, you know, even as he, he gets a greater role, you know, within the BJP fold, within the, uh, the BJP party and the parliamentary board as well, greater say too, you know, he's still battling issues which have haunted him for a long time. You know, minority communities, uh, in Gujarat, you know, going on and complaining about their businesses being haunted. These are issues which Narendra Modi will have to address at the state level and do it fast too, because 2014 is, you know, around the corner. His image at this stage will be of utmost importance. Well, absolutely. And Narendra Modi had foreseen such a development, and that is precisely the reason why two years ago he embarked on a Sabna mission, wanting to try to change his image. Mosik, I apologize for interrupting at this Mom, stage. Uh, Minakshi Lekhi, BJP leader, now also joining us. Uh, Ma'am, uh, at this stage, how do you see this new team of your party? You know, the mission 2014 clearly being stated, but Narendra Modi is going cloud, also quite evident with his own elevation, with that of Amit Shah as well. No, I think uh, party has uh, taken the right decision and uh, have, uh, as per the capacity and capability of person assigned different jobs, because we are all, irrespective of the party positions, we are all workers and we all have our strengths and weaknesses. And based on that, work has been assigned. So it's, it's a, a wonderful thing. And uh, I'm glad uh, that right amount of uh, uh, authority along with uh, uh, faith has been reposed in some new people. Ma'am, new duties for you as well, becoming the spokesperson for the BJP in that capacity, you know, m m must be very difficult for the BJP core group also to look at uh, you know, somebody again like Mr. Amit Shah, who has been charged, cheated in a case. Yes, you know, he, he's got, uh, he's out on bail, but there are issues which are, uh, you know, pulling him back. But this is again being credited to Narendra Modi, his growing cloud, his backing for Amit Shah to be included as General Secretary. You see, Mr. Shah has been a party worker for a very, very, very long time. Hmm. And these cases, we all know that eight encounters happened in Gujarat and they were uh, tip to be uh, fake encounters, where has 85 encounters happened in UP for the same duration, and uh, 78 or so in uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Andhra Pradesh had far greater number of uh, 69 or such, and yet uh, not one case has been made. So these are all politically motivated cases, and uh, in due course of time, the truth will prevail. And if you see the history, which mm. I cannot discuss in this short while, sure. uh, but I'm willing to discuss the Rabuddin with you any day. Ma'am, but again, uh, the other aspect which seems to have surprised many is the non-inclusion of Sivraj Singh Chauhan in your parliamentary board, in your party's parliamentary board. Are you surprised by that as well? Again, someone who's done very well for the BJP and for the state of Madhya Pradesh. Uh, uh, no, I, I, everyone has done very well and everyone has been assigned a different job and has worked differently. I mean, Ms. Modi was also not there earlier in the parliamentary board that did. Does it mean was he a less capable leader? These are, uh, uh, what should I say, media speculations more than any truth in them. But ma'am, last word from you. It, it is quite clear that Mr. Modi will have a greatly enhanced role as far as mission 2014 for your party is concerned. Ma what is it then which is keeping the BJP from formally announcing him or someone else as suitable as its prime ministerial candidate? You see, BJP somehow doesn't have the tradition of announcing uh, prime ministers uh, just like that. And it is the importance of the leaders which lie in running the party and the organizational capacity and capability of a person. And that is given far more importance in the party. And when the time comes, we will also announce our uh, prime ministerial candidate. Ms. Lakey, congratulations on your new role as well. Thanks very much, ma'am, for joining us. Uh, Mosik Yachar is still with us, tracking developments in Gujarat and Ahmedabad over, of course, Narendra Modi's new elevation to uh, Mosik, you were making you know, the point about the challenges that Modi still faces in Gujarat, something which the entire country will be facing uh, and, of course, keeping a close tab on as well, because this is a man who the BGP might not agree to, but will certainly be projected at some stage or another as perhaps one of their leading prime ministerial candidates. Well, absolutely. But Narendra Modi had foreseen what was coming his way. And that is exactly why uh, he started 
uh, working on it right uh, ahead of it. Almost two years back, he launched his mission to create more accessibility among the Muslims, especially the minority community, mm-hmm. which had suffered during the 2002 riot. Also, time and again, uh, uh, court cases have led a dent in his image uh, mm-hmm. as far as he's trying to fight the 2002 a uh, blot on his image. However, for so far since last six months, he has only gone from strength to strength uh, as far as his elevation at the national level is concerned. Not mm. to forget his recent hat trick in the Gujarat Assembly election, mm. which has definitely um, created um, his strength in uh, not just in Gujarat but also within mm. the BJP party. When he was swearing in as the Chief Minister of Gujarat, we saw the kind of NDA allies and the top senior BJP leadership that lined up at his here in Gujarat, including J. J. Lalita, right. um, who had come out in support of Narendra Modi. It was kind of a, a, a showcase of BJP's strength mm. as to what was lying ahead for the entire party here. It was only a matter of time after Rajnath Singh took over. We saw, as Apish mentioned, several meetings between Rajnath Singh and Narendra Modi, one-to-one, face-to-face, um, in closed doors, trying to work out the future strategy for the BJP party. And as Atish was mentioning earlier, mm-hmm. that they have left behind their differences earlier and they now plan to work together. In fact, just in a matter of few days on BJP's foundation day, April 6th, a huge rally has been organized here in Ahmedabad okay. at the Sardar Patel Stadium where Ahmedabad saying the BJP president is going to be the main guest and almost uh, 40,000 people are expected at this venue. It is going to be a step-by-step coming together of Rajnath Singh and Narendra Modi. Okay. And though they might not just come out and announce Narendra Modi as a prime ministerial candidate, 